deve vender. Any other ones? Mask. All right, so we'll start with breathing, relaxation. Ground yourself, move your feet, relax your shoulders. Relax your knees. Then you can feel your pelvis sort of sink down through your legs, down into the mat. Let there will be a very slight pause before you exhale. The same before you inhale. Slight pause. Hold it. Exhale with a whistle. Inhale. Hold it as long as you can. Exhale in one move, in one go. Yeah. 
Relax, 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 relax,
if you can get on your knees. Extend. Are you able to do a little gentle rub? In which case, just gently alternating sides. Use your, this opportunity, whatever surface you're on, if you're not on a mat, to actually allow your body to gently accept the floor without any bumps. And use your core to slow yourself down. Use your core to control so nothing hurts. Okay, and if you have the space, do the wiggle wobbles gently. Now I'm going to do a variation on that. So if you start with a weevil, turn, roll, up, and very gently lower yourself down. Roll back over, and weevil, wobble, Turn. And lower yourself down. Let's see, I'll watch you guys do it. As much as you can do it. I don't see a lot of you, but that's okay. Turn a weeble, wobble, turn your body to look behind you. Then look behind, turn your body, lower yourself down. This movement of lowering my body weight, which in my case is quite a lot, is actually an isometric exercise. The tension is this, this I'm not, this pushing up is a different kind of muscular work, but this extension into the mat, lowering the body from the palms really slowly is something we should work on in isolation. So if you get to that point, let's, uh, let's do it again. And when we get to that point, let's lower slowly from your palms. So watch. Round, round, turn. Now I can't do it from my toes, I'm doing it from my knees. But I'm going to lower counting to 10. Ready? One, everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it. Ten. Good. One more. Weevil. Wobble. Turn. Push up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, okay, so let's um, stand up, practice some basic movements.
in whatever space you have. So if you have a little space, the size of only two mats, we're going to practice tenkan. We're going to do it with our imaginations. So we're not just doing the movement in space, but we're going to do the movement with an imaginary partner in that space. So imagine your partner, enter, they're here, and move. So you'll notice that you'll be slightly offline when you change that, finish that turn. So it's not a, a turn in the spot, it's a turn with an imaginary partner, and you're there. Now let's practice it. So practice this a few times in that little space, Tenka, with that nice breath. Practice with Sensei. So. Now, even though it's a little bit awkward, I want you to produce a tension between your hands. So the tension can, we did gasho before, where this is a producing an isometric tension between your hands to breathe. This time, I want your top hand to extend down in a cut while your lower hand is extending up to resist. So you feel that tension the same way you feel okay, um, trying to keep connected in, in technique. So this kind of movement, we're gonna practice a little. This is another isometric um, relation between two hands. One is pulling, this hand's pulling this way, this hand's pulling this way, and we can move together. So we're gonna practice these in relation to our basic Aikido movements. Okay, so starting in, in right hand, with your right hand on top, the left hand in that connection with this extend, really work it. Don't just touch, but extend. I want you to do basic Irini Shomen. Heat. Knee. Sat. Shi. Go. Rock. Seat. Hat. Coop. Jiu. Other side. Left hand knee, left hand on top. Good stickiness between your own hands. Each knee, sat, sheet, go, rock, seat, hat, ku, jiu. Now, let's add to this an imaginary partner. And I want you to imagine you've got showmen coming at you, and we're going to do a basic irini ikkyo movement with our hands. So it each, change sides, each, Notice that my back foot has come off line. Each. 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 Good. Let's see, is Garrett, Kev, can you put on videos too? And Suzanne, hey. Suzanne, um, hi, hey, uh, cool, um, yeah, pop on your videos, great, it's nicer to see, good, okay,
Okay, so let's work now. We're going to return to that in a second. Back foot to Rini Tenkan. So, even if you have a tiny space, make it small. Now let's add your hands. If your right foot forward, right hand on top. You really tend to cut with your breath. Left hand foot forward. You really tend to So, same in out breath. Feel the tension between your hands. Good. Excellent. Okay, now let's try another one. Start in left hand knee, with your left hand up, and your right hand gripping like we showed before. Gripping the wrist, I want you to pull and pull in both directions and go within to the middle, down, breathe in, and breathe out, and return. Right hand up, left hand grips. Create that tension, never let it go. Breathe in. Turn, in, and release. You might notice it's kind of related to a Shihanani movement. So that same tension is produced in this exercise. So, nice posture. Breathe in. Extend, and release. Left hand, I mean, sorry, left hand pulls on right, that's up, up, up and down. Breathe in. Now we can do it more fluidly. Let's see everybody work on it a little bit. Good. <laughs> Garrett's amazing dojo kind of takes over his whole body at times. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Breathe in. So when you um, when you do this, you imagine someone attached to you. You don't just move the the arms to, to bring your partner down. You bring your center down with it. So don't forget that connection, that imaginary connection. So breathe in, breathe out, bend, 
stand while pulling. So it's actually, you should be getting a little sweaty. It shouldn't be an easy movement. Good. Excellent. Just checking the time. Okay, let's try. Um, let's let that go for a second and do another very basic movement. <laughs> I did this um, in a class last night with Darius Sensei in Newcastle, and it kind of worked. <laughs> that I would, we would practice first a movement. We're going to start in right hand knee. And we're doing basic corner drop. So off line and down. And really imagine your partner. Good. Now, if you were okay in this context, let's also work on the imagination. You've grabbed your partner. They've taken you out here. So allow yourself, if you don't have a soft floor, just do that. Okay. If you can, Allow yourself to let your balance be taken. But don't roll away from it. Keep that extension to your imaginary tori. So extend. And keep looking at them. If you don't have a soft surface, don't go there. Just take it as far as you can. It's a wonderful stretch. Who has a little mat there? I know, I'm lucky. <laughs> Besides Sensei. <laughs> Anyone? Nah, okay, never mind. What we did is, <laughs> it was quite fun. I, I um, ask for a connection. Sarah, just pretend here. Grab my wrist. Thank you. Follow me. Don't go before I go. Well done. <laughs> Left hand. Ready? Nice. So you can... <laughs> See, we're all together. I love it. Um, so it's possible to produce that kind of connection even across the wires. So let's go back to being um, one of the things that's important in any movement is for the upper body and the lower body to work together. And somehow without, um, I feel that without um, a partner there, all the classes I've been going through, can you hear me by the way? Yeah, yeah okay. All the classes I've been going to online, many of them practice everything extremely linearly. And that's great for a little while, you can do, you know, ten con movements. You can do a really ten con in a straight line. But unless you have an imagination of your partner and allow your upper body to lower body to work together, it becomes very stuck. And we don't want to lose that. Um, and I, I'm just going to end the little practice. I don't know, you go until when? Do you go till quarter past or till? Yeah, we can go to quarter past. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. at this point, I want to read you a little one minute that comes from Chiba Sensei 
um, an inter one of many interviews I did with him in about the year 2000, I think. Um, I asked him about the Aikido body and he said, I see movement like a painting drawn with the stroke of a brush. That's our specialty. Eliminate everything that's unnecessary. The Aikido body is something to do with that. How your body draws a, draws a line in the atmosphere. That's what I see. How much clarity, how much purity, how much force in the simple drawing of how you move. What's most important is that line. And on another day, he said, the Aikido body can be seen in any well-trained martial artist. The Aikido body is alive. In order to be alive, you have to have center so that the left and right don't argue with each other. Upper portion of the body, lower portion of the body don't argue with each other. We say the mountain doesn't laugh at the river because it's low. The river doesn't laugh at the mountain because of its stillness. Every function in the body has a condition and there has to be a center to cause a link, to make it one single unit for the body to become alive. So I, I read that little bit of a interview because I think we need to try to work on our movements that we're all, everybody here is really advanced and very experienced, but we want to keep moving, but we also want to have that imagination and that coordination and work on it every day. So breathing exercises are really core for developing our key, and developing our center, but these movements have to also keep their, their organic connection. Um, so let's just go back to, um, actually, if you have a boken or you have even a, a tanto or a pencil, whatever you got, just, <laughs> or a ruler, <laughs> um, there's my nice boken. Let's just finish with um, a bit of basic absorption work that is not just going to be done by ourselves, but going to be done as if we have a partner. So if we start with basic um, absorption, breathe in, out. So I don't want you to do it on automatic. I want you to imagine the strike and not go until the last minute. So you can imagine that strike. Looks great. That's great. That's wonderful. If you do this with people who are not familiar as you are with doing this many, 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 many times in practice, you find that people go here and they start to cut before they return to the center. But you're all doing a beautiful job imagining that target. <sighs> Wonderful. Nice. Another thing that we can do is to use our bokken 
to help with our body movement in imagining technique. So if we just have your hand, have your book hand in your hand, and we're going to imagine Irimanagi, first of all. So I don't know, if, wait, I'm gonna move this so you see a little higher. Okay, so I'm imagining Shomanuchi Irimanagi enter behind, wait, sorry, I'm gonna do it with this hand. So this is not in my front hand, it's in my back hand. So enter, cut, come up and come down. You see how my, my point is now on my imaginary partner. So again, this side, I'm gonna enter, step behind, cut, oops, long hand there. Changed. <laughs> Try that again. Cut. So imagine you've you've got this partner's head is here, and you want to make them light. So your bulk hand helps you direct up. And come back down. We're coming up and down. It also allows you not to do this in your imaginary training with your arm outside your center because you want to keep it in your sights. You're coming up and down. So Wrong side. Let's see. Hands. That's cool too. <laughs> Can you do it again, Cammy? Sorry. Can you do it again? Right? Do it again. One more. Oh, sure. <laughs> So you change hands? I didn't there. Oh. Um, I enter. I'm behind my partner. They're here. I cut down. I'm moving up and then cutting down. So this hand, if I'm going to the hand that's behind your partner's shoulder is free, right? So here I've got I me. Step behind, cut, up, down. I me. Step behind, cut, down. This is kind of imagining a, a neck, a head, controlling it. So, I hand me, cut, down. And don't forget to finish the movement with your body, with your legs. So, I hand me, cut, what's wrong? <laughs> um, So it's I hung me, step behind, cut, and adjust. Use your upper body, shouldn't argue with each other idea. <laughs> Let's see a few attempts. It might be easier with the book, with a uh, tento. So absorb, I hung me, step behind, cut, control, hearing. Step behind, cut, hearing. Obviously this isn't 
going to be the same Arimanage all the time, but this is one possibility. What it's, what's lovely about the weapon is that it produces a, it's something that you keep in your center. Some of you might remember that I've dislocated my shoulder many, many times in the past. <laughs> and uh, Sensei will remember that. And I took me maybe 20 years to really learn never to lose, let, never to allow my shoulder to go out of my center. And I've never dislocated it since. Um, and so that can become something that helps here. I hung me, set behind, cut. You see how this is in my center. I see it and I can come forward. Let's see you try again. Good. Nice. Lovely. That's really good. Hey, everybody looks good. Um, maybe we should do a little bit of um, just stretching again, and then um, we can we can finish on time. So. Oh. Let's go back to this. Thank you, Cammy. Oh, yeah, why don't you bow us out from your dojo? Oh, how cool is that? Only a million <laughs> miles away. <laughs> Let me just adjust this. Sensei? Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.